Today we're checking out the Empire 6. Hey Danny, you got the goods? The goods, here you go. Wow. All right, here is the Empire 6. I'm trying this thing out. Danny and the uh, DBS stores let me try it out to do a little review here. Anyways, so first off, how's it feel? Not bad. Anyways, I'm gonna throw the GoPro on it and I'm gonna play some points and uh, see how I like it. You want to try this, Marshall? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Let me know how you like it. All right. What did you think of it? Uh, shot great, really flat, super smooth, no recoil. Uh, basically my only complaint though is this on and off, it's very loose. Um, it's true. But other than that, I mean the gun shoots really well. So. Sweet. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. All right, let's see who else we can get try this thing. Ian, you want to try it? Yeah, sure. Ian, what do you think of it? Honestly, it shoots really good. Shot like of the axe. I shot an axe for two years. Um, small little thing, um, the on-off here. Very loose, but I mean, other than that, for the price range, six ninety nine, you can't beat it. You want to try it? I'll try it. Okay, what did you think of it? It shot better than expected. I don't know if it's from the Axe family, but it feels like it, looks like it, <laughs> smells like it. <laughs> but uh, one, two games in a row, so let's go. Seems good. Yeah. 
So I got to mess around with this thing today. The Pro Shop and Danny at the DBS here allowed me to uh, try this thing out and uh, see what I thought of it to do a quick little review here. So this isn't too in depth, but uh, I kind of like it. It's uh, it, it, the, it shoots really smooth. If you like that style of like, just like the mini and the Axe where it's, uh, so it's kind of poppy, but it's still, it shot very nice. The build quality of the marker is actually pretty nice. It feels pretty good in your hands. So all in all, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with uh, how it performed. It's got really good field stripping abilities here if you need to do quick maintenance on the fly. The bolt comes out really simple, just like you would expect from uh, most newer markers these days. And then even the, uh, the battery and the board is very quickly accessible by a push button on the front that opens the front and then there's your battery and uh, the board exposed. <laughs> the feed neck is your typical uh, clamping feed neck with a adjuster knob to uh, make it tighter if you need to, so that's really good. So now here's the only thing, the only complaint I have and the other people that I had tested today, this on-off ASA, not a fan. It moves way too easily. It needs to have like maybe some tension on it or it locks when you open it. Other than that, not a lot to say. It, like, it, it performed really well. It feels nice in your hands. Uh, it's, the material is it's quite durable. It's got this uh, like the rubbery plastic on the, the front and the grips. The milling looks nice. It, it is definitely an improvement on the visual design compared to the older Empire markers. I personally like the trigger design too. It's quite nice. Uh, for turning it on and off, really simple. One push on, one push off, and then a second button to allow you to adjust uh, modes and whatnot. Really simple to use. Yeah, the only thing I would say is just a, the on-off ASA I'm not a big fan of. But uh, yeah, pretty good marker for the price. So, yeah. Okay, two things. One, Thanks Danny and the Pro Shop for allowing me to use this marker to make this video. It's really cool, thank you so much. And thank you to the guys that helped me record the video um, with the extra gameplay and having other perspectives of people using it. I had like Ian was playing front like me and then two guys playing back so you got that different view of it. And yeah, if you guys are in the Pacific Northwest, these are available at the DBS Pro Shop. So check them out, I'll leave a link so you guys can uh, try to find it. And so the other thing is, if you guys made it this far, still listening to me ramble, <laughs> Did you guys enjoy this style of review video? This is something I've been thinking about, how I would do a review video, and this is kind of what I came up with. This is my first time I've ever done this, so it's kind of like a, a, a trial and error scenario here, seeing what worked, what didn't, and uh, I think it turned out pretty decent. It's kind of, it's what I thought in my head would be kind of cool. But yeah, so um, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. New to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And uh, there'll be another video soon of the practice, actually. I filmed two videos in one day. It was a little bit silly. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.